In this lesson, I'm going to show a way to approximate several scales that are really common in Middle Eastern music. Um, scales like Husseini, Bayati, Ushak. Basically, a lot of these, all, all these fall somewhere between the Dorian and Phrygian scales, meaning the second and the sixth notes um, are variable, uh, like slightly sharper or flatter depending on the scale. And they're also, they would fall between the frets of Western music. So if you start these from E, right, the second note in a Husseini scale would be between F and F sharp, right? So I'll just go Phrygian. And then after the fifth, the sixth note also here would fall between C and C sharp. Right? So for example, I'll play a scale now Dorian on the way up and Phrygian on the way down. I'll do the same thing, uh, just going up the E string. So on fretless instruments or uh, microtonally fretted instruments, basically, uh, you know, depending on the exact scale being used the note would fall like closer to F or closer to F-sharp, uh, but also they would always be a little bit flatter on the way down. So what you do here in terms of how the scale is used is you go, you know, basically phrases like this. Right. So always when you're ending the phrase, when you're moving towards the end of the phrase, you make the notes flat. Uh, and when you're going up, right, like ascending the scale, you make them sharper. So. phrases like that. Uh, it's really common to have them in close succession. Something like that. Right. Um, so this is something that you hear in a lot of uh, contemporary music where you know guitar and piano and stuff have been keyboard, piano are being used um, to play music that would have been played on traditional instruments with microtones. Uh, and, and also you hear this a lot in Greek music. For example, the bouzouki is fretted like a guitar and Balkan music where they're playing accordion, right? So they don't, they can't play the, mul the microtones. Um, so in terms of harmonization, this is pretty straightforward. You basically harmonize this like you would harmonize Phrygian or Dorian. Um, and depending on where you are in the melody, you use the uh, the chords that would correspond to the sharper flat versions of these notes, of these, yeah, of these notes. So for example, like E minor, right, A minor. G major, D major, G major, D minor, E minor. So this thing of uh, basically when you have variable notes in the scale, you you have a lot of situations like that where you have a major and a minor of the uh, same chord in close succession. Uh, and you can do the same thing with the fifth. So the you know C sharp and C would be the two versions here. So that would give us A major and A minor, right? like that. Um, and actually using the, it, it's pretty common to do this where the fifth, uh, sorry, the sixth note doesn't vary as much. So, you know, you can vary the sixth note, especially when you're going below the tonic. Right. But the, the main varying note you know, is the, especially with chords, is the second note. 